Hi, hi everybody, it's Somewhat Girly here. We are back with another unboxing for Inca Crate with the uh, month of April 2023. Yes. All right. While I'm opening this, just a reminder that I am visually impaired and I use reader glasses and the zoom on the camera to be able to see fine details. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. All righty then. I have no spoilers, obviously, because I don't follow any of their social media. So I don't follow any of the social media for anything I unbox. Okay. I see a very spring-themed card. Give you a sneak peek at the box while I look at the card a second here. We're just going to look at the outside, not the inside. Very springy picnic. Uh, maybe some flower viewing. Then, no, it doesn't. Okay. So we'll look at that at the end of the video. You don't have to stay for that if you don't want to, but if you do, great. Just to see what things I figured out, what things I didn't. Okay. I'm seeing... Oh, Karomi! I found something with Karomi on it. What are you? Oop. Yay! I don't have a coaster on here. I'm actually using a wreck this journal for a coaster. <laughs> it's a coaster. Oh, I'm sorry. Here's the back. Day one of YouTube. It's thick. Look at that. I hope okay okay it's not a it's not a painted design it's actually like the design has been cut into it and they've applied the paint over it I, I'll be so sad if that comes off with like use but I don't tend to spill things too too often I'm so excited and so happy <laughs> you go right there I'm keeping you <laughs> all right next item oh I think I found some washi tape. Okay, I'm thinking that's a little squirrel. That might be a bear. I don't think they're characters that I actually know, which is okay. Oh, that's so cute. I'll leave it in its packaging for right now. Or should I open it? I was going to leave it in its packaging because I thought it was going to be hard to open it. Open. I thought it was going to be hard to open. Um, but it was harder to peel this off the roll than it was to unpackage it. That is so cute. That is a very cute scene. I'm very glad I got that. I don't know who they are, but I can look it up. It could be they're just like random characters, just like how we draw random characters. All right, looks like we've got some sort of writing utensil here in packaging. Okay, the packaging says um, Mike Color. I don't know what that means. Could be just the brand. Let's open her up. For what it is, it's very heavy. And I still don't know what it is because it's wrapped in plastic, but I'm a little afraid to take it out because like, I'm wondering if it's... Maybe chalk? As far as I can tell, there doesn't seem to be anything written on it. And there, there's a, a space up here for something to go on it, it feels like. But like it's... It's really, it's really thick for a writing utensil. Stay tuned for me trying to discover what it is then. Like the whole thing is completely wrapped in plastic, so I kind of don't want to take it out. Doesn't rattle, and it's it's weighted like, and, it's, and you see how like big it is compared to the other writing utensil that I'm about to look at. Whatever it is, is double ended. It is a lovely blue shade. Okay, it says on here, where where to go? I lost it. Uh, play color. If I read that right, yeah, play color. Zoom in. Color your daily life, because yeah. Okay, first things first, I'm going to open up the side that has the clip. What do we got here? We got, looks like a fine tip. 
And although I can't write smoothly, that writes pretty smoothly and it's a very nice color. And then we're going to open up the other end, which is a marker tip. I don't know why I made those like small, tighter little circles trying to be like professional, but it's a pen marker, which is real nice. Love that. Love the color. Such a vibrant blue. That'll be great for marking in my planner. I like that. Okay. Next item. Okay. Whatever that is, it's thick. So let's put that off to the side. Okay. Looks like we got a bottle here. I'm going to guess before I zoom in that it's glue. I don't know if you see my little glue collection over here. It's, it's up at the top of the screen here, so you can't really see it. But it's got quite a bit of glue. Okay. Okay, I zoomed in a lot closer than I normally would because let's just say there's a little angel ghost here and what looks like a cat with bat wings and like a little, you know, demon tail. It actually says on here, Devil X Angel. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's over here? Okay. Someone needs to replace our belt outside. Okay. Alright, so... I'm gonna... What? It's gotta be glue. It's gotta be glue. All right, let's see here. Do I have to take something off? Maybe, maybe, maybe. There was a learning curve to this. There was 100% a learning curve to this. This is a little cap that was stuck in there that I think came out, was supposed to come out <laughs> because the cap shows a little direction of that course in Japanese as it should it also okay so you know lefty light uh lefty loosey righty tidy the stuff that we learned in like school like uh when we took shop class like how to like deal with screws and um stuff like that well FYI opposite so not working. I Okay, now we've got it. I imagine it's like glue tape, like the way that they designed the cap, okay? So I'm going to take this that's now soaked. <laughs> Fold it over. Oh, dear Lord, it's on everything. <laughs> Now, I don't know if it's because I put too much on here, but it does not dry very fast because I'm able to weep, but it is like, it is sticky. So there's that. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Yay glue. And because it's open like that, I feel like I'm going to have to um, use it, like figure out ways to use it so that way it doesn't dry out. Okay. Now... This here that I've been avoiding, because usually I want to, like, open up the best things for last, but you don't really have to. Okay, so it looks like a pouch of some sort that I haven't taken out of the plastic yet. Of course, it's my favorite. Sumiko Garashi. Oh, uh, let's see here. It doesn't really say. If it does, I can't see it, obviously. Okay. Just open it. Why are we wasting time? Oh, goodness. It was in there. It is a soft pouch wrapped up in tissue paper. Actually, it's vinyl. Oops, sorry. It's got the official sticker on it. And I feel like it is... Okay, that, that was on there. And... 
Oh my goodness, my hand strength today. Okay, so here is the back with our favorite characters from this line. There's, I hope my characters are on there, the ones I like. Um, anyway, open, 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 open. What is this used for? It's flat on the inside. Is it for, is it for money? Like, do you put your money? It's got like a, it has a carabiner, so it's meant to like hang off your bag. Oh, tissue paper again on the inside to hold it. What is this for? Is this going to be like the tissue holder all over again where I'm like, I have no clue. I have no idea what these characters are on the front, but it's all like, <laughs> they kind of remind me of puppies a little bit. All that says is, uh, it was made in 2022. Okay. That's all in Japanese. More of those little characters. They're all in costumes. Cause that one there kind of reminds me of Ebifu. A little bit. Cause of the little fish tails. I bet you it is. Pooty saw in the background there. What are you? <laughs> the only word I know on the front here is Inu, which is dog. Inu to Koima me Dei Mashita PVC and then the rest of it. <laughs> okay, so they're dressed up like puppies, which is extremely adorable. I love when they, when these are like mysterious to me. Like I have absolutely no clue, absolutely no clue. <laughs> but at the same time, it's gonna probably be something I'm like, huh, that's interesting. I didn't know I needed that. Whoop, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get. What else we got in here? We got a bunch of wiggly worms. Oh, there's a couple items left. Two things left actually. Let's look at this one first. It looks like we have My Melody, which My Melody's rival in the Sanex universe is Karomi, which is adorable. Looks like this might be a letter set. The last time we got a letter set, I think it was a Karomi one like a while ago. Okay. You hop over there. Okay. So it looks like we've got some envelopes. And a little card to tell us, you know, that it's a My Melody set. The envelope. No, these aren't envelopes. These are. No, they are. What am I talking about? <laughs> they are the um, Eastern style, which means that normally what they do is they write on the back of the envelope and they write up and down this way. Put the item inside, seal it. That's what the glue is mostly for, is to seal those. Um. But this is to write their address on it. Now, the way we would do it is we would have to turn it sideways and write it this away. I believe I have sent one in the mail where I had turned it sideways and I had to put like, you know, like not covering the characters or anything like that, but I had to put like a post-it note or something here and glued it down so that I could actually write down who it was going to so I didn't cover the front of the envelope. I like their style. Oh, that's not going to go back in. I like their style a little bit better. I, I think it's only because it's different. Here's a bunch of stickers that you can use to steal the envelope if you want to. You don't have to. But this is another option besides glue. And the actual stationary paper. They put one on the back so that when you're looking at the letter set in its packaging, you see the front. And then you get a look at the lined side which is very faint. Well, that's okay. It's very cute. You can't get much on it, but like it's meant for you to write, you know, a short message if you want to. You can use multiple sheets because there's always more sheets than there is envelopes. This is absolutely adorable. 
the stuff in here is so Easter like, like so pastels, like, you know, the, what you see at Easter time. Okay. Just to double make sure. Yep. This is our last item past that. Let us push that off to the side there. Jelly. It says jelly. It looks like there's a writing utensil in there. <laughs> just, it just, just jelly. <laughs> so, at first I thought there was an eyeball on it. You know me. Okay. Writing utensil is a, is a pencil and it is very thin. I'll put that down there. So technically if, if I was correct about that one, we've got three writing utensils, but one came with this, which is, oh, it's a little notebook. Okay. A tiny little notebook. Okay. So you could like sharpen the pencil and toss this in there for like little itty bitty notes if you wanted to. Nothing special about the pages. They're just notebook pages. Front and back. That is so cute. Okay. I'm going to zoom in on the pencil, which looks like it just has different types of jelly. Like there's that green one, which I'm going to call lime. There's either orange or pink, not sure. So orange jelly it says jelly. There's a purple one that could be, I don't know, grapes. Uh, I got a blue one here, blue fruit, blueberries are purple. Ah, uh, if you get that reference, uh, put a, um, Put something blue, an emoji that's blue in the comments. Okay, we got yellow here. I'm going to think that's lime. So it's just a regular standard pencil that you need to sharpen so that you can write in your little notebook. But you see how thin that is? Now, if you want to. Anyway, um, that's the end of the video unless you want to stay for the um, reading of the pamphlet that's inside. So thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Boop, boop. If you're still here, you know what time it is. It's time to zoom in on the pamphlet. Okay, now we're inside of the pamphlet. What's inside your Inku crate? And the very first thing here is a Sumiko Garashi medium sized pouch. That doesn't help. It also looks like there was another design here. But that did not help. Okay, I read the description. And it says here it's a multi-use pouch that could be used to carry stationary items, cutlery items. I didn't think about that or precious items. You got a pair of Hello Kitty chopsticks. Now, nope, mine don't fit in there, but I do know that the young, like the child size versions of chopsticks will fit in here. And I used to have a pair, but I don't think I do anymore. Okay. I actually have a pair of child size which if you put them in the pouch, right? Yes, they will fit. By the way, it will also fit your pens and pencils. So if you wanted to use it as a pencil pouch, you could, they go in there then you just snap this close. I only open one side cause you only have to open one side if you wanted to. Sorry if I'm talking a lot about the pouch. It's just so fascinating to me. Moving on. We've got the, um, Mickey eraser. What? An eraser. This is why I can't be trusted at all because, um, it's an eraser. It's an eraser. This is an eraser. You can peel back the paper, like tear it once you're using it. It's meant to fit in your pencil case. It's wide shaped like this. Yeah. So we got the Tombow Play Color K Marker, one of 27 different colors. I don't remember if I've gotten any Tombows before, but I'm so excited that I got this because Tombow is supposed to be a very nice, nice brand. All right, next section here, we've got the Retro Masking Tape, which was one of six designs. So I don't know what they mean when they, when they mean retro, like, is this like, retro styles from like the nineties. Is it the seventies? I don't know, but it's very cute. 
Sanrio Rubber Coaster, which they're showing the one that I got. One of three designs. I wonder what the other two are. I'm going to imagine one of them is the My Melody, which, believe it or not, both My Melody and this character, Kuromi, are, are actually bunnies. So that is exciting. We've got the Retro Notebook and Pencil Set, the Jelly which came in one of eight designs. I really, really like the fact that I got the jelly. It is so cute. Um, yeah, and like they're, they're, they're saying like to use it as a journal, but it's very small, very small and not a lot of pages. Okay, Sanrio letter set, of course, one of two designs. I wonder what the other design is. This looks like it was the other design. Pom Pom Pari. That's another uh, Sam Rio character. Would have loved that one too, but I like the one I got. So, yay. Did that sound genuine? No, it didn't. I do mean yay though. I really enjoy the fact that I got a letter set. Cute rolly glue. Oh, it is glue. <laughs> one of four designs. Uh, and of course, the rest of the booklet shows the Segoy Mart, which is a shopping store that they have, and pictures from other people's crates from past months. Otherwise, that is all, folks. Thank you so much again for coming along for this journey. If you heard this for the second time, or if you heard it for the first time, if you didn't hear it the first time, you know how it goes. Um, I cannot wait for my next unboxing. I am so happy this month. Thank you so much again, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.